Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to Nerd Ratio. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Hot Topic exclusives Glow in the Dark Hulk uh, bobblehead. It's uh, one of the pocket pop keychains. It's pretty small. Um, I actually didn't grab a another full size Funko Pop before the review, but here's one I plan on giving away. By the time you see this video, I may have already given this away. On the Facebook page, but uh, there you go. There's a plug: Facebook.com/NerdRatio. Um, but anyways, these are smaller than say. Uh, here's a loyal subjects jazz to see, and then the real test uh, of how this works is, of course, a ruler, right? What else uh, is better to determine scale? So here is a ruler showing you about how tall it is. Let me even up the image here so you can get, there you go. That's just the box. We'll do this again once we're out of the way here. Um, now I'm taking it out of the box. I should probably do that in front of the camera. Something I'm trying to learn how to do. I see that the, the key chain part is separated here for me. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but let's just put this box in the back here. While I'm doing this, why don't you look at one of these other hulks that I have nearby? Didn't I have a handful of them? Hmm, I don't know where they went. So here Hulk is tiny, but he can stand on his own. I don't know if I add this part, if he'll really be able to stand, but he's pretty tiny. Um, I'll be honest, I had not had the mini bobbleheads before, and uh, he looks pretty darn tiny. He's shy of two inches. Uh, my first purchase of the mini bobbleheads was the Funko Guardians of the Galaxy ones, and they they were bigger. These says these says pocket pop keychains, so this is even tinier than the bobbleheads. This is a keychain. I've got a adipose that's also a keychain, but I removed the I removed the keychain part, and I'll probably be doing the same with this little guy. But the cool thing. I that I got him for was that he glows in the dark. Some of you know I'm a big glow in the dark fan. I have a glow in the dark shelf. So this guy certainly needs to belong on it. So to get this guy glowing in the dark, well I'm going to turn off the lights. You can see that there's a bright light behind me. I'm occasionally um, blocking and for that I apologize. Uh, so let's just turn off these lights and then once we get him glowing we're going to spin this guy around. A little hard to stand spin this guy around while he's glowing. All right, you can get a look, kind of in a low light situation now. See that there's still some nice detail on the back. And then I'm gonna take out the last light here. And you should be able to see, this is my little black light. You should be able to see him glowing pretty well. Now he is glowing better than the camera picks up. That is always the case. I think that's the same for everybody. You can see it's his, the green parts of him glow, his uh, dark green hair does not glow, and his purple shorts d do not glow. So there is that. There you go, the nice glow. You can even see that on the camera. I'm peeking behind it now to make sure. Uh, and it does fade on the camera a little quicker than it does in real life. There is a computer screen light still in the room. So there is a little light that might be showing up, but not a ton. So that is why I bought this guy. Should I have warned you the light was coming back on? I don't know. That's why I bought this guy, is that he can glow in the dark, and I'm not going to glow in the dark shelf. Now, I really wanted the Mystery Minis Hot Topic exclusive Glow in the Dark Hulk, but I found that that was a bit expensive, and I saw how cheap this was on Amazon. I had some eBay money from selling some stuff, and I thought, well, why not? Why not just grab this guy? And to show you how tiny he is in comparison to some other Hulks, I'm going to stop that right there. Maybe spin it just a... Oh, I'll just move him. Face him your way. Good swivel head movement. Otherwise, no other articulation. Definitely top heavy. Uh, but here is the Marvel Universe improved version of the Green Hulk. It's weird that we have to specify the Green Hulk now, but you know, there was the, the Grey Hulk, or Mr. Fix-It, uh, and, and now there's a Red Hulk, and 
I know there's a composite Hulk. So this is the, the Bruce Banner original. Uh, of course, this one's based on the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, Mark Ruffalo Hulk. And then we've got big, big, brutish Marvel Legends. Uh, no, actually, this is a Marvel Legends. This is this is the other movie Hulk. This is the Ang Lee Hulk. I don't remember who this guy was, uh, who played that guy, but you can see how big he is. Quite a bit bigger. He towers in there. And then we have um, an abomination from the Edward Norton Hulk movie. So actually, these are Hulks from three different lines, now that I realize it. Can you imagine this abomination going in against this this little guy? Oh, man. Um, for what he is and for the price I paid, he's pretty good. I still would prefer if, uh, you know, I could get the mystery minis. I think the keychain, while it's a marketing checkoff point, I think it does nothing. It's not good for the figure. For display I'm gonna unscrew it and it who's gonna use these as a keychain right really it just add metal and adds to the cost uh, and then it makes them a little bit less balanced I would rather have a slightly bigger figure and I actually don't like the bobbleheads myself for for these but I understand some people do so that's okay but I mean I would give this guy a uh, you know 6.5 out of 10 um, something like that. He's not hes not bad at all. He's sculpted nicely. He's got that cartoonish style. And I, I want to emphasize that my the detractors for me are positives for somebody else. So if I was going to judge him purely based off of, in comparison to other keychains, I would be at a loss because I don't have any other open aside from Adipose and he's not a bobblehead. So uh, I don't really have anything else to compare him to, but obviously I picked him out uh, from the others so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this little look and he's still available in places although he is a hot topic exclusive i found him on amazon he's on ebay for reasonable prices now if you want the mystery mini glow in the dark hulk that's a hot topic exclusive i see those going for about 30 bucks i really really want one um, but i just can't do that right now so it's just uh just, you know putting my money thin uh, and, you know, putting priorities. There's some lots of Joe product coming up and uh, some Transformer stuff as well. So there's just uh, other things going on. But I like this little guy. It's nice to have a glow-in-the-dark Hulk put on my shelf. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.